Hi, my name is Nain Jyoti and I welcome you to my channel How BNJ. Let's get started. When you go to purchase a computer, you might check the memory size of RAM, graphics card and HDD or SSD only. But there's actually another memory you should check also at the time of purchasing a new PC. Yes, I'm talking about cash. No, I'm not talking about that money that you are going to spend in buying a new PC. I'm talking about CPU cash with an E at last and the DC in the place of S. It's a very special type of memory that's built into the CPU. Now you can ask me why CPU needs its own memory cache if there's already 16GB or more GB of RAM. Is RAM not good enough? System RAMs are a lot faster than a hard drive or SSD in terms of data transfer. Its latency is very low, around 100 nanoseconds but the CPU actually wants data much faster than the system RAM can even provide it and on top of that CPUs have gotten faster over the years hence without a faster memory your CPU will stay idly doing nothing like an unproductive employee until the requested data not reached to it this is why CPU needs cache unlike system memory which is made of dynamic RAM or DRAM, the CPU cache is a static RAM or SRAM, which is more expensive and takes up more space than DRAM. Like DRAM, cache is also a volatile memory, so it can store data and instructions temporarily in any order and erase these data and instructions once the computer is switched off. Where the DRAM has to be constantly and dynamically refreshed with the electricity in order to hold the data, SRAM doesn't have to be constantly refreshed. Your CPU may have a few megabytes of cache, but it makes tremendous use of this small amount of memory. Let's see how. When the CPU accesses something from the system RAM, it generally passes through its cache, and then using its complex algorithms, it decides to hold those copies of data and instructions that the CPU is going to access over and over again so that whenever CPU needs to execute certain data it always checks it first in its cache to see if any data it needs is there and if it's not then the CPU would have to go back to the slower system RAM to get the data it needs and this situation is called cache miss but fortunately, because of hard works of the computer designers, their algorithms have also critically developing and the sizes are also get increasing. So modern CPUs typically have a cache hit rate of 95% or higher, meaning that most of the time our CPUs are only processing what they find in their cache and they need not to go back to the slower system RAM at all. Now you can guess that more size of cache means more copies of data and instructions it can hold, which implies high cache hit rate and thus your computer performs faster. A CPU has three different levels of cache, level 1, level 2 and level 3. In short, L1, L2 and L3. L1 and L2 cache are located inside each core. L1 has two parts, one is data part that stores only data and another is instruction part that stores only instructions. L2 cache stores those data that recently accessed by the CPU and not caught by the L1 cache. In short, if the CPU can't find the required data to execute something in L1, it then checks the L2 and if the CPU can't find it in L2, it then checks the L3 cache for the data. At last, if L3 cache doesn't have the data that the CPU needs, then the CPU has to go to the system RAM, which slows down the computer. L3 cache stores those recently accessed data that were not caught by the L2 cache. L3 cache is the largest cache, you can't believe that, 
its extra few megabytes are how advantageous for us. Although it's the slowest cache in terms of data transfer, but it's many times faster than the system RAM. Now you can ask me why CPU has extra L1 and L2 cache. These are smaller even faster part of the cache. L2 cache is faster but smaller than L3 cache. L1 cache is faster and even fastest cache but smallest in size. As L1 and L2 cache are located inside each core and thus they are dedicated to their own core. L3 is the shared part of cache of which data and instructions are shared between all the cores on the CPU. In Intel processors, when you check product specifications, you may see few MB of smart cache are showing. It basically means L3 cache. If someone says that his or her processor has 12 MB of cache, then it basically means the L3 cache. Where now in modern computers, all levels of cache are located in the same CPU. In earlier computers, only L1 cache was located on the CPU and the remaining two were located on a separate chip near to the processor on the motherboard and these were connected by two high-speed buses to the CPU. At the time of buying a new PC or a CPU, you can check the size of L1, L2 and L3 cache of the CPU in the product specifications or on the internet. Some of them may be in kilobytes also. But don't worry, these are unbelievably capable to store many data and instructions. Finally, I want to say that at the time of purchasing a new PC, mainly a laptop, you should check the size of cache memory also, along with the size of other memory such as RAM, graphics card and secondary storage, and buy a laptop which processor has a bigger size of cache memory, because in desktop you can upgrade it, but in laptop it's not upgradable. Hey, thanks for watching this video. If you enjoyed this video, give a thumbs up, otherwise thumbs down and let me know your thoughts and opinions to this video in the comment section so that I can make better videos for you in future. And if you don't want to miss any of my upcoming videos, then please subscribe to this channel and smash the bell icon. Till then, bye bye, take care, have a nice day.